Hey, what's up everybody? We are over at the Tiny House Living Festival over here in uh, outside Portland, on the Washington side. Uh, hasn't been a very eventful, I take that back. It's been a pretty <laughs> eventful morning. Uh, basically, I've had people come inside the bus, give them little tours. Uh, I actually gave a banana out as well. And basically just uh, telling information about the bus. By the way, the shower is up and running. It just is not hooked up because the guy at the propane store did not cut the correct length. Anyways, but it does work and all that fun stuff. Um, so, oh, by the way, I spotted Dylan over here in his van. He's about to speak uh, in two minutes. So let's go, let's go support. Let's go check out what he has to say and uh, lock up the bus. Some people have figured out how to make that their career and live off of that. And I was like, hey, I think I could do that. Other people have done it, so it's not impossible, obviously. So I decided in November of 13 that that's what I was going to do. And I dropped out of community college in, what was that, 14? Yeah, uh, September of 14. I kept going for a little bit to keep the parents happy. And then I dropped out and was like, all right, full bore into YouTube and went straight into debt. <laughs> <So> <laughs> two and a half years just went straight down into debt but as long as like you don't give up you're never down for the count you just keep standing back up and it eventually worked out and so now this is what I do um, and so about a year ago I switched my filming style to what I do now and what I do now is I film short documentaries on alternative styles of living like tiny houses van dwellings buses boats all of the above and others <laughs> tree houses sometimes uh, meeting up with uh, Brock again, Bus Life Adventure. But where is your bus, man? I sold the original oh, one and I'm here? building another one oh. now. And what kind did you get? I got the same one as yours. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're talking about. That's what happens when you get a good bus. I know People Josh want to uh, also get a good time, bus. And boring. also, look who else is here. It's Dylan <laughs> Magister. Oh. What up, Dylan? Say hi oh, to your fans. Jackson, your audience, <laughs> how's it going? Here? Am I like all up in there? You're all up in there. Yeah. It's been a fun event. Um, there's other people from Instagram that I've uh, seen before. Lou, dude, and, we can't do this oh without you. The lady's talking right in my ear right now. Anyways, yeah. it's been a fun event. It's yeah. cool. Two more days of this. Like I said, might do a compilation. A uh, lot of tours. Anytime I talk all day long, it's very exhausting in a completely different way. Basically, I've been inside the bus repeating myself. Uh, some smart people actually in one of the buses over there um, they had a little whiteboard and they put all the fun facts great idea I should have done that um, anyways this is what it looks like this is a tiny house festival we have all the school buses over here we have the van lifers over here which are kind of in between us and uh, Dylan's over there as well and then the rest of this area is just kind of a big old parking lot more or less for all these tiny houses and I haven't gone inside any of these ones yet, but I will at some point. Because they look pretty cool, and there's a pretty good chance that I could learn something about their design and potentially implement it on my bus now, or maybe a bus in the future, or a van, or whatever I end up with. All right, guys, it is now the end of the day. I'm going to finish off with a little uh, organic vegetable mix, and I'm going to mix it with uh, some, I don't know, lentil soup. I feel like that's a pretty healthy mix. Uh, hashtag bus life, van life, you know, all that fun stuff. Anyways, thanks for watching. I know you could spend it anywhere, but thank you for spending it with me. Um, oh, I don't know if it's going to be a montage or not, so we will find out. And I will resume regular uploads in the very near future, uh, so look out for those. Uh, still don't know what is up with it. Alaska. I almost got talked out of it by an Alaskan. Welcome to day three. It is raining, and I forgot my towel was outside, so... That's a fail. Anyways, we've just been doing more Q&A inside the bus. I've been sitting in the same bus seat for three days straight, but I want to introduce you guys to Chris. Chris. Chris is a viewer, came down to say hello and check out Dan the Adventure Bus. How are you doing? <laughs> uh, where are you from, man? Olympia, Washington. Cool. Yeah. That was a little drive down here. 
rainy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's Fun cool. Though. Yeah. Uh, you having a good time down here at the Tiny House Festival? Yeah, we just got in, so check it out. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Nice, man. Yeah. Uh, well, dude, let's all thank Chris for coming by. <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, let's take a little tour around the area. For the first time this weekend, we're going to go check out some stuff. We're closing for the rain delay right now. You guys who, uh, know whose bus this is? Well, Bus Life Adventure. Ooh, look at these nice screens on the outside. Also known as Brock. This is the Valerie bus, owned by Heidi. Yo, what's up, bro? Good, what is going on? Hey, <laughs> you guys having a good time? Sick. Yeah, good seeing everybody. Yeah. Meet people in real life. You know? We we we've been connecting on Instagram a bit. He uh, actually is the owner of that little yellow bus right there in the parking lot. Absolutely. How's the build going so far? It's going fantastic. It's good. Done. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost done. <laughs> cool. Yeah, it's really good. Nice. High five for the bus life. <laughs> yeah. This beautiful monstrosity is known as Navigation Nowhere. Let's go take a peek inside. I promise you guys. This is my new favorite bus on the internet. It's kind of packed right now. You guys are winning the bus game. <laughs> we got beautiful cedar ceilings. We'll take a full tour a little bit later. Yo, Michael. Good job with the bus, bro. Good job with the bus. Oh, thanks, man. Also down here at the Tiny House Living Festival, these guys are doing a live roof raise. You know, oftentimes a lot of people talk about the height of these things as, as an issue. So what you can do is cut and then add height. And it looks like they're cutting right here and they're adding height. Um, let's go tour some more short buses and full size buses. Over here on this uh, neck of the woods, we have the van life contingency over here. There are Westphalia's and vans and Dylan's van over there, which is super cool. Um, over off to the other side, it's all a bunch of tiny homes, super long lines. So what I think I'll do is we'll go for some tours a little bit later when it's a little bit less busy and also the rain stops. So I think I'm gonna take advantage of the restroom and then get back inside the bus. for a, a quick tour in Navigation Nowhere. Hello, hello. Yo, what's cooking in here in the Navigation Bus? You got dishes that I never did. No way. I, I took them this morning, this is breakfast. I uh, took it, threw it in the cabinet. Oh, people what? people started showing up. Oh, man. So I am now scrubbing off the dishes. Why does it smell like something's burning? Because of this. Oh, man. I, I, tried to, I tried to heat it back up. You guys are filthy. Filthy animals. What's cooking over here? This is some meat that's not doing so great. Okay, awesome. But we're gonna go through a quick tour. We got the fridge in the freezer. We got some people's. Hi! No switch yet. All right. So we got the back bedroom area. This part folds out. It's pretty awesome. You guys should just verify it and check it out on Instagram because this thing is nuts. My favorite bus used to be the happiness bus, but this one wins hands oh, down. A tall order. I know. That's a tall order. It's awesome. It's awesome. I'm jealous. Oh, it's great. Come live with me. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we got Valerie Bus owned by Heidi, Rock's girlfriend. Yeah, Valerie Bus. Yeah. So we're going to do a quick little tour. Hey, what's up, Brock the man? Hey. <laughs> All right, so. There we go. A little four window dually. Shorty, short, shorty. Little short bus. This is shorter than my bus by a window. But look at how cozy and comfy this is. This is awesome. What's your favorite part about the bus? Uh, the Bodobox holder. Oh my gosh. A little <laughs> wine holster right there. Brilliant. Uh, you guys should definitely check out Heidi at the Valerie bus on Instagram for more info. Cute little sink. All this like cozy kitchen stuff, hanging fruit, kind of like that. <laughs> How's it running? Uh, great now. Great now. <laughs> <laughs> I promise that the brakes coming out. But yeah. We'll that. <laughs> All right, cool. Next up, we got Schooly Love on social media with Patrick. Hey! <laughs> By the way, we've been following each other for quite a while, so it's very nice to meet you finally. Yes. Super rad guy. And look at this bus. We got so much <laughs> Wow. So is this a full-size, full-length bus? 
Uh, bus language, four window, five window. This is 11 window. 11 windows! 11 windows! What? <laughs> anyway, so uh, it's about 34 feet front to back, driver's seat back, 189 square feet. Wow. So uh, there's lots of room for yeah. mountaineering gear if you got to climb a mountain. Yep. I got my ties back here if I need to look real pretty. There you go. Right. Let's do a quick uh, bathroom shot. Here's the kitchen, clearly in use. Nice little pantry. I like this little cubby thing here with the facing seats. Yeah, you know. so there's storage and the electric underneath there. I used to have a table you could take down, like an RV extra bed, but I don't really have that much company and it wasn't comfortable, so made a real sweet table there. Cool. Yeah, this right here is the bathroom. Oh, I'm so envious of buses with bathrooms. It's one thing I didn't do right on mine, but I got I maximized my space. Right, right. Yeah, there's people come in like I don't care about the bus. I want to see your bathroom. Really? Like, sure. Take a look at where I poop. I do <laughs> admit that was the one thing everybody was like, Oh my God, honey, come check out the toilet in the trunk. And apparently <laughs> it was a big hit because every all the other buses were kept on hearing about my toilet in the trunk. Right. right? My mom was like, Check out that dude's bus. Your toilet's cool, but yeah, he's got like a trunk in that. So the my mom digs yours more than mine. What? No yeah, way. Yeah, yours right. is rad though. Okay. High five for the bus side. Right, cool, man. Thanks. Next up, we are in the frugal RVer, not river. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have the two owners here, so we're getting a nice little tour. All right, carry on. Let's let's learn about the bus. All right, what do you want to know? Uh, what do we have here? What are you guys? You guys this making money? This is Salud Lotion. Yeah, this is the first time we've ever tried it. This is I've our first never, festival, I've first attempt at selling it. We've actually, nice. yeah, it's, uh, apparently it's a popular product. Oh, see. I saw people carrying these things around. That's a very good idea. I like the square space thing. So, kitchen area. Yep. Tub, not a shower. Yep. So, how do you fill up the tub if your water capacity is a little bit less than the tub? Because so, we talked about this yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we don't. So, it's just a quick wash normally. So, okay. the tub, it's a 100 gallon uh, galvanized livestock trough. And uh, we have a 65 gallon water tank. Yep. So, we normally just do a quick bath and uh, spray down, yeah. military style bath. Cool. Yeah, it's big enough to where it wouldn't splash out too much. Right. Brilliant sink, like this. We've got, uh, yeah, we went with a, a bath faucet, so uh, less moving oh, parts, so we can cool. actually just move this over there, and then we can stick this outside for uh, outdoor showers. Love the dual purpose, and then what do we have over here? Composting toilet, nature's head. Yep. How do you like it? I love it. Yeah? Absolutely love it, yeah. No shit. Yep. Absolutely love it. <laughs> and then I guess that's everybody here, huh? <laughs> nature's head? Right. No, I got I got a porta potty. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, oh. Almost the same. We're going to go okay. check out your airhead in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a little baby bed these yeah. sides here. Get out of your way. Cool. No. Let's see those things pop off. Oh, fun. Nice little latch system. And that becomes storage. So oh, we have cool. Closet space underneath Another there. baby down below. Another baby down right. below. <laughs> Fun. And our, our bed does the same thing, but it's kind of a pain. Okay, yeah, I understand. Don't mess with that. Master bath, or a master bed, I should say. Cool reclaimed woodworking up there. Yeah. Nice, man. I dig it. And then these flip up and become like independent workstations, or they can touch cool. the middle and become a uh, table. I like that. Hopefully, we'll be able to find the hardware to be able to pull them outside and they can be a picnic table. Wow, cool. Rad bus. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks. All right, so like I said, this is a tiny house festival, not a school bus festival. So most of the time, people are coming in, and these guys all manufacture them and sell them. So we're not going to go through all of them because there's quite a few, but uh, we will walk inside the first tiny house at the festival. Hi. Hi. Wow, cool trailer ramp thing here. That's a cool use of a space. I like this. I will. I will. I will. I will. I will. Wow. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna do a quick, uh, a quick tour of the Yeti bus with Kyle Volkman on Instagram. By the way, what on earth is this right here? This here is a pull-down shotgun seat. Oh my gosh! This is passenger. This is everything that some of my friends wanted in my bus. I'm totally jealous. Yeah. Great idea. By the way, he builds uh, buses for people, so hit him up if you want a bus. If you yes. don't know how to build. All right, quick tour. What do we got here? TV, entertainment system. We got a little dinette. Couch folds out into a bed. Mm -hmm. Got some bums hanging around. Bus life, dude. I'm like in every video. <laughs> 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 yeah. And back, back here. We got the kitchen. 
little fridge mistaken for a dishwasher every time. Nice. Uh, you know, cabinetry, uh, storage space or some food. Mm -hmm. Got the plumbing, little foot pump, saves on water. Cool. Um, propane cooktop and oven. Mm -hmm. Spice rack. Magical bedroom. With, Magical. Uh, you know, color changing lights. Dude, I just noticed the, uh, the artwork on the back. Second time looking yes. at it, that's pretty quick yeah. killer. In here we got the bathroom, super basic, uh, airhead brand, dry mm -hmm. composting toilet. Mm -hmm. I like it. Similar to the nature's head brand, yep. but slightly different. And a uh, fun fact about your bus, it runs on what? 100% vegetable oil. That's so rad. Yeah. I'm totally jealous. So if you smell french fries, you're probably tailgating me. <laughs> it's now time for our <laughs> bus <laughs> life <laughs> potluck. We got... I don't know, chips, we got some stuff on the stove, we got my carrots and sweet potatoes. Pressure cooker, watch yourself. We got some kind of beans. We got all the bus livers in here, yeah! Kyle made some tacos, we got all the bus drivers in the house, yeah! If you guys want to own a bus, hit any of us up, we're all nice, we're all friendly, we will tell you some good information, especially Bus Life Adventure over here. Uh, thank you again for the uh, info on the short bus. Yeah, totally. All right. All right. See you, everybody. Thanks yeah. for watching. Yeah. Yee!